I was speaking to a client not too long ago and we were speaking about how certain people use and abuse you and which causes you to not want to be there for people anymore. Essentially, she was trying to say that the minute you give to people, people who do not appreciate it um, tend to cause you to feel as if giving is actually not worth it. It's not worth giving and being there for people because they just take it for granted. I am here to say that you have been given to the wrong person. If you give to the right people, it should fuel you, it should build you, it should empower you to give more. And so I am here to say today that it was never the giving that was the issue. It was the person receiving the gift that might be the issue. Now remember, when you give something, it's supposed to be a gift that you give yourself. Your body cannot comprehend time and space, meaning that if I give you a gift, because my body cannot, does not perceive you as you, it is a gift that I'm actually giving to myself. And um, my body experiences the gift as if it's been given to myself. And so that is the power of giving. But if you give to the wrong person, the person that doesn't reciprocate that and um, the appreciation it'll take from you. And so don't allow anyone to remove or steal from you your power, your sovereignty, which is in given. You see, when I say given, it is not, I'm not very big on giving of money because um, I don't believe that that actually changes much. I'm very much about giving your time, giving of your presence, giving of your personhood. I think that is more rewarding, I think, and that actually causes better change uh, or a better or has a better impact on people we think money really impacts people yes in that short short period of time and um, you will be appreciative if you are the one receiving the monetary gift but if someone were to take the time out and give you their presence man oh man what a, a powerful thing now it is important for you to understand how do you give? Do you give through physically helping people? So if someone needs help, uh, you, you're there to carry their bags, or you're there if someone needs help to hang a frame on the wall, and you're able to do that, is that your way of giving? Or is your way of giving through money? Now, I'm not saying that giving money is a bad thing. Um, for me, that's not the way I give. I give through my time and my presence and being present with you. I do know quite a few people who uh, actually find or have joy in giving money because that's who they are, that's the nature of who they are, that's the way they give. What I'm saying is find your way of giving. And when I say give, you see, all we're trying to achieve is a connection. There's a beautiful saying and the saying goes, that it takes a village to raise a child. I'm here to say that it takes a village to be a human being. We need connection. And the only way you can achieve that connection is through giving of yourself, is exposing yourself. It is saying, here I am, and I'm here to offer myself. Because the minute you offer yourself, you are literally connecting yourself. You're connecting yourself on a deeper level with um, those people around you. And as a result of that, do you deepen the connection? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel as if you are being needed? Do you feel as if you are being used? Do you feel as if you have purpose? Now, the goal is not to find purpose. The goal is just to be and do the thing that you've always been designed to do, which is to give, is to connect with people. And so the next time you feel as if you drain through giving, remember that you are giving to the wrong person. Give to the right people, deepen that connection, and you'll notice how there's a, f a fire in your belly and you actually want to help more. And so take this with you, implement it into your life and start giving today and transform your life forever.